Hello everybody, today we've got a deck featuring Low Kicks and Spinda. As always, you can find all of my deck lists in the description. And don't forget the giveaway. I'll be giving out free PTCGL codes to a commenter who answers today's giveaway question, which you can see on the screen right now. And I'll be doubling the amount of codes if we reach today's like goal. Like the video and comment your answer below, and I'll be picking a winner at random and giving them the latest PTCGL codes. Enjoy the video. I honestly did not catch if we were going first or second, but it did not matter because we got Nimble in the front, no retreat cost. So we're going to go ahead and drop the old cemetery and pop that bad boy into the back. Hopefully this Spinda can survive. Probably going to have to research away some good stuff, but that's life and we will survive. But first, our opponent is going to be able to go. Hopefully old cemetery can do some damage. Uh, the problem is this deck that I'm up against doesn't necessarily have to put energies from the hand to the Pokemon. They got Electric Generator, they got Flaffy. Uh, but on our hand, on our end, we have Spinda, Dizzying Spin, spread 10 damage everywhere and confuse the active. And then Low Kicks with its Punishing Kick, very punishing for each damage counter does 10 plus 40. 40 for each damage counter. So we can get those damage counters on, spreading with Spinda or... Uh, Vengeful Punch or Confusion with Spinda, then you can start doing some heavy damage. The Iron Hands is scary, I will say. Electric Generator, there we go. They got none, that's big. Here comes another one. I always feel like they have two on turn one. Maybe I'm just a little pessimistic. There's two damage right there from the old Cemetery, so good to go. Escape Rope, that's fine. Nimble has that free retreat. Fleet Foot. But they're not going to be able to attack, so that is fine by me. And, well, there's another way to get energies on without getting damage from Old Cemetery. But we can get Nimble out of the active and into our hearts. We are going to retreat, evolve that up. Now it doesn't have free retreat anymore, but that's fine. Going to have to drop some useful resources, but we can always super rod them back. Luckily, we do have an energy to put onto the Spinda. It will hurt us too, but... We're a goofy little, uh, we're a goofy little Spinda, so it doesn't really matter. We're probably getting knocked out in one hit anyway. So all we can do, dizzying spin, spread that Dimage, that Joe Dimaggio, and then next turn we can go ahead and Raihan into the low kicks, take a knockout, and move on with our lives. We can get an energy on. Then what else would we want to Raihan for? Maybe another Spinda. I feel like one is in order. They do get the Flaffarino up so there goes some more energy acceleration looks like they are retreating into the lucky interesting now they can dynamo her back on probably onto that raikou and then evolve this reggie lucky nope but they will be switching old cemetery that's 10 you'll like to see that we might actually get one more spin to attack in us unless they have an electric generator only one flappy down so switching bolt i'll take 30 but i will survive Oh, I will survive. And who's coming out? Doesn't really matter. We're going to confuse them and spread damage. Now we don't have to Raihan, so we might want to think about what's going on here. An Ultra Ball is pretty cool. We did lose Bib Barrel and Low Kicks. I don't really want to use Claire now. I would... Hmm... Well, we are going to put one here. I want to use a Supporter... None of them are particularly useful at this moment. Old Cemetery will do what it does. Unfortunately, this is kind of getting scary. So, now this deck is known to Brick. They do have Raikou in the front to draw, but that's not a problem. I think I'm actually going to toss the switch and the Iono get a bit barrel and or Bidoof rather and then next turn excuse me next turn get an energy and these two pokemon back with clara if of course our hand doesn't get shuffled back in you never know what the future holds but what i do know is that i do want to start dancing dizzying spin 10 all around for our friends confusion on the raikou and we'll see if we can survive we're just going to keep spreading and start setting up some low kicks, some high kicks, some mid-level kicks, throwing a punch. Who knows? 
opponent has five cards in hand if they want to put well not for long <laughs> all right there goes all the stadiums so that's interesting i'm not i guess they didn't want to collapse themselves um and then they didn't want to path themselves i mean path doesn't bother me i do have um radiant alakazam which should play a big role late game if we are to win this game so we'll just see but for right now feeling pretty chill they do need to set this bad boy up but if we can get enough damage counters on it then then that's fine we might get to the point let's see they do knock out the spinda unfortunately but the low kicks can do what it needs to do so that's fine we'll keep the raihan we will get our next attackers and draw supporters up this turn so not to worry six damage counters on another old cemetery who cares about that let's get all this stuff i kind of do want another spinda though at some point but this is what we need right now so got plenty of spindas in deck i don't remember if it's three or four but it doesn't matter so right now we are going to take damage of course and then we are going to draw some cards now they might not even have an attacker next turn go ahead and nest ball four hmm Kind of feeling one more Spinda, but do we have a low kicks in hand? We don't. I'm feeling one more. I'm feeling one more because I think that's what's going to happen after this low kicks. So. Hmm. Radiant Alakazam is big too, but I think the low kicks is more imperative right now. We do have two more Nest Balls and three Ultra Balls, so we'll go Spinda on this one. And Punishing Kick for 250 very nice take a couple of prizes who will be attacking next turn it's got to be a maridon unless they get another raikou down unless they electric generator super heavy into the iron hands that would be bad but i think we will be fine it just depends what we see um we can confuse the Iron Hand, so that's good. It looks like they have another Raikou, though, so they might have another Raikou ready to attack. They will take 20 there. And then if we can get a Radiant Alakazam up, we can get a knockout. So, Raihan can get that for us. There goes the Raikou. Fleet-footed. That's fine. We will be wanting an Iono late game at some point for sure. Oh, there's a Judge. Dang, dude. Dang, that hand was good. That hand was good. We might have to pivot. Oh, I was going to say we have to pivot into a spin up, but we're totally good now. We're going to put... Oh, shoot. Oh, none of them have low retreat cost, so that's actually a problem. We're going to have to go spin to on this one. Lightning Rondo takes out the low kicks. That's fine. Now that Iron Hands is going to be a problem, so... <laughs> We have to deal with that at some point. Definitely want to... So many dark patches. Okay. Drop that. Drop this. Double dark patch, right? We got two. That's fine. And we can avoid the damage, which it doesn't really matter so much. But always nice to have. The barrel, let's get us four more. Got the Raihan, actually. Can't use it now, though. So I don't have any energies down, but I could Ultra Ball. We already used Clara. Hmm. Let's go ahead and... My low kicks are down. Just one. Alright, I think what we want to do is Painful Spoons... We really don't care about the Flaffy. I don't think. So we're going to go from here to the Iron Hands because that, that thing's coming out. This thing's going to retreat. So at least we can get the knockout on it immediately. We'll go Dizzying Spin, spread 10 more. And now we're in a good spot. As long as we keep the Raihan, we're good to go. We need Nimble's set up tomorrow, next turn. We needed him set up last turn, but... We'll take this turn. 
Whoop, and I'll almost knock down my whole setup. Just kidding, we'll survive. Again, we will survive. So, Arvin, they did not use their V-Star power, so they might take out the low kicks with the iron hands, which does stink. Oh no, they used Arvin, they can't boss. They could escape rope. So, we will just have to see. Looks like they are getting energies to put onto this crazy guy right here. Oh, and they have this one set up too. So, Radiant Alakazam is gonna be playing a pretty big role. Either way, we are one prizers. So, I think we will keep up the pace. And they are retreating. Five, seven, so seven, 70 damage. That leaves them at 240. Seven times four is 280. So we will actually take three prize cards. And in fact, <laughs> that Flappy might have actually mattered. I don't know, but we'll see. Can't really predict what our opponent will do. So that's always something to factor. Iono's big. Um, Iono is pretty big. I think I'm going to go... Thing is, they have what they need on the board, more or less. So I'm not really sure. I kind of want to get a nimble ready. And I can't confirm that I'll get that unless I do this. So we'll lose an energy... We do have Super Rod, so we'll lose an Energy and a Low Kicks. I don't love it, but actually, we'll lose an Energy and a Dark Patch. Get that boy. Two Energies down, good to know, good to know. Okay. This is probably the turn to Iono. How much is this doing right now? 210, so that's not enough. So... We will be taking three painful spoons from this Maridon onto the Lecky, and that should be enough damage. 290, sick. That is so crazy. Um, and we'll go. Uh, we're gonna go Raihan. Are we losing? Oh my gosh, we might actually go Raihan Counter Catcher. That would be nuts. I want to get this nibble set up. So we're going to put this here. Counter catcher is possible. Low kicks is in hand. Iono is also in hand. Inspect board. So we're doing 200 to this thing, at least 210. So I'm actually going to counter catcher so that the iron hand strat kind of goes down the drain they have three i have four counter catcher will work so that's what we'll do get over here you have been scaring me this whole game and i'm not gonna have any of it you do have six cards in hand now i'll have to live with that but we'll go uh i don't really care about the spinda to be honest do we have another barrel we do let me check, let me check, let me check, let me check, come on. Got a switch card. I really don't think the Spinda matters. I think Badoof's more important. We do have an Ultra Ball to go get it. So that way we just don't get stuck with anything, you know, if they boss up a, bar a barrel or or whatnot. Let's go do uh... Oh my, I freaked out. I thought I didn't have it for a sec. Punishing Kick. And now we have enough damage on the Lucky VMAX to take our final prize as well. So that math is mathing right now. Ventral Punch, unfortunately, it's not attached to anybody. And we don't have an energy. So that's a little goofy. That's an extremely goofy movie right now. One energy in the discard. That makes four. And we do have plenty more in the deck. So... We'll just see. There goes the cemetery. Don't mind. It's done its job. Stormy Mountains bringing out another Iron Hands. But is it too late? They are going to Generator because... Well, they're going to Dynamotor first, but I think they have two more Generators. 
And that's usually the way the cookie crumbles. They actually only have one generator. Is it in hand? They can't attack with... Well, they can. They can't attack with the Leckie. Here comes the V-Star power. Is that the generator? If it is the generator, we could counter catch her again. If we hit one. But to be honest, I don't remember my counter catcher counts. I should study these decks before I record the video instead of making them a couple days before and then being like, all right, guys, let's go. Let's do it. But that's life. I think they're going to try to get the Iron Hands going this turn. I just don't think they're going to be able to do it. They only have one generator. They could go for the Raikou. They do have the counter catcher. So we'll just have to see. They'll counter catch somebody. The Akazam is pretty important. I'm a little nervous. Yep, they're going Raikou strats. Energy right there. Take another 20. That means I'm going to eventually get the knockout. Unless you counter catch her. Unless you counter catch. Oh no, I don't have Old Cemetery. It just looks similar, but they go for the attack anyway. So as long as I have an energy, we are set. So nimble up to the front. Come on, energy. There it is. No shenanigans needed. We'll go ahead and attach this energy. Some shenanigans needed, actually. We are going to go ahead and painful spoons. Uh, just because we want to... We want to kick pretty hard. Not going to lie. That's that life I live. And we'll go three... <laughs> we'll go 370 onto the VMAX from our little 120 HP single prize stage one. Feisty Pokemon. And we say GG's. Well, I gotta say, we just got saved by this nest ball that we just grabbed from our mulligan, but I think actually we would have top decked it anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but we're feeling pretty good about things right now. I'm gonna nest ball. Normally I would get a Spinda, but I feel like we're gonna have this hand next turn, so we might wanna just get a Bidoof anyways. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll need a Spinda and this uh, beautiful, gorgeous Radiant Alakazam later on, but right now, it's doof time. Do have the free retreat on the nimble, but we'll go ahead and nimbly attach one to the rear and hope this one survives while we'll in the turn. They do have an ice queue in front, so I think it is a Mew VMAX deck. Um, and we can get sniped by this block slider, so that does suck. But we do have weakness against Mews, so low kicks can feast. I hear a weird sound in my room. And I don't know what it is, but I gotta keep recording. So hopefully I don't get murked in the middle of this video. I don't think we will, but if I do, happened on camera, we all saw. And uh, yeah, the reason why I'm saying this goofy stuff is because, well, we're playing a Mew deck. We know how it works. I don't really need to tell you how that works, but I could tell you how this deck works, even though I think this will be the second game. So you'll have seen the first one, but low kicks, 10 plus 40 for each damage counter. Spread damage counters with Spinda. 10 on each. Got some uh, old cemeteries as well to make things inconvenient. And once we get four damage counters on a Mew VMAX, that's a one hit KO with a low kick. So we just got to take out two of these Mews. Not Mew 2s, two Mews. So we'll just see. Escape rope, escape. Go ahead and take this one. I don't think I'm gonna get KO'd. Honestly, wasn't paying attention. Did they play a supporter? The answer is no, not yet. So, Alyssa Sparkle, probably in our future. It can do 70, this one can do 80 or more. Choice belt, don't care about that. Lost vacuum, that's fine. Looks like that choice belt's going straight into the lost zone, never to be seen again. Nope, it's the four seal stone because they already used it. So that makes sense. So we'll just keep tapping the watch, waiting for our opponent to finish their turn. They've used two Genesect so far. If they get a Tails, which they do, then that's helpful. They're going to have to go ahead and Genesect one more time. Choice belt for no reason other than to draw more cards onto the Genesect. 
Now we got a bug of our own that also kind of looks like a weird spacey bug, but ours actually does damage and yours doesn't. So pretty sick. We do get the nest ball as well. So pretty good turn. I'm going to go ahead and nest ball the best ball into Spinda. Spinda Cartwright. Wasn't Linda Cartwright a person? It might be a character on Seinfeld. I don't know. Anyway, low. Ooh, I messed up. That's fine. I wasn't supposed to evolve, but I can still retreat. My bad. That's fine though, because we'll get a dark energy and dark patch. Like, don't worry about it, guys. Don't worry about it. All right, that's fine. Go ahead, retreat the old low kicks into the spinaroonie. And you know what? There's the dark patch. Okay, we'll pretend that never happened. I've never misplayed, but a lot of people don't know this. I've actually never misplayed in this game. So there you go. Dizzying spin, tens all around, tens on me, guys. Buy a round for everyone. I'm just the cool guy at the bar giving everyone 10 damage counters. There goes the Mew Vamax. And the thing is, Old Cemetery is actually not gonna do what we need it to do because they're psychic types, so whoops. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Oh, I felt so good. All right, well, we got 10 on there. We could need a... -da -da -da. Well, we do need a Radiant Alakazam. A uh, Vengeful Punch would feel, would feel pretty nice right now, especially if our bibs is going down. It's going down if our bibs is going down. Now, they did attach an energy, but I'm sure they have another switch. It's Mew. They get everything they need. Any way you want it, that's the way you need it. That's how Mew's going to get it. Just one escape rope used, so let's go ahead and just assume what's done is done. Now, there's no fusion strike energies attached anywhere, so I'm not threatened by the ice cube, and in fact, they're stuck, so awesome. So we're going to go ahead and Halakazam, Iono, we have one escape rope, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and Iono first. Actually don't mind getting another energy down. We've only used one dark patch. Super odd, kind of sucks to lose, but we do have Clara, so that's fine. Get down there and get into my hand and onto the board. All right, so next, Iono. I should have barreled first, my bad. Whoops, there it is again. Just kidding, I never misplay. Um. Okay, I kind of really, really, really want to attack with Spinda. So we'll go ahead, drop the research and the nest ball for nothing. And fingers crossed for the content, escape rope, here it is. That's hilarious. Well, we lose if we lose a big barrel, we'll swiftly replace it. So there you go. We'll put one here, get some... We'll wait a second, then we'll get some damage counters from Genesect onto this Mew. And end the old turn. We just need an energy, or we just need this barrel to get knocked out, but what we really do not need is Block Slider sniping everyone, which is exactly what's about to happen unless they retreat. But that's fine. We can still Raihan get an energy attack with the low kicks. It just kind of stinks to take out an Ice Q instead of a Mew Max. There's the sparkle. So yeah, we're about to get sniped super hard. And the barrel's still going to be on the field. So that's really bad, actually. It is confused, though. It is confused. So let's keep that in mind. Now they could do a, a switch into a retreat. I could just bang the mic. A lot of things could happen. So we'll just have to see. It's confused. Tails. Let's go. They went to the jerk store and they're all out of you. Got a vengeful punch as well. And you know what's funny is we can actually really want to do it like this. Uh, so I probably won't, but there's I could knock out the ice cube with low kicks this turn. Put the old Spinda out. Spinda Carter, Linda Carter. That's what I was thinking. 
and Linda Cardellini. That's also an actress. But Linda Carter was a Wonder Woman like way back in the day. Anyway, I don't like the Raihan in hand. Did I attach that energy? Did that just happen? Did I just do that? No, I attached the Vengeful Punch. Okay. We're going Iono. We're going Rogue. Oh, sick. Okay. All right. All right. I see you. I see you. Um. I, all right. It's more imperative, honestly, that we does Vengeful Punch work if it's not in the active? Knocked out from your opponent's attack from your opponent's Pokemon. Knocked out from damage. This is doing damage. So, oh my god, this is hilarious. We're putting Vengeful Punches right here. You gotta attack somebody else now. Alright, so you'll be doing 40, and then I'm doing 10 right now. So yeah, this is perfect. Alright, let's go ahead and draw with Industrious Incisors. Wow, that really worked out. I love when the math maths. Uh, we'll keep the Dark Patches because we might still lose. Um these low kicks low kicks eye so we'll go ahead painful spoons never lose on to the muva max 10 damage spread the love and hopefully spread the hate no that's messed up i would never do that but they're kind of in a lose-lose situation right now because if the ice q attacks and knocks out one of these vengeful punches then that's not good for them. The Ice Q will get knocked out, and I'll get a free attack. Oh, well, there goes a Vengeful Punch. I don't know why they didn't take it out on the low kicks. I guess they're going to go and attack the Spinda. I'm fine with that. I can still move damage counters. Now, actually, hold on, because I know this does something. Prevent effects of your opponent's abilities done to the Pokemon this card is attached to. So I'm assuming I would move the damages here, and then they would just, like, wither away. Boss's orders... There it is again. That's fine. I have an energy. And amber is the color of my energy. So, all right. We got a Mew V Max Crystal Cave. I don't really mind them healing the Genesex. It's kind of inconvenient, but that's fine. Now, they're going to draw, draw a bunch of cards right now. So, yikes. Now, this is definitely going to be one of those games I feel like where they're either slow dripping away my prizes or. I'm taking them all very quickly and I'm feeling like it's going to be the second one. So we're just going to, we're just going to keep trying. I'm really curious which attack they go for though. They do have the cross fusion strike. So only one fusion strike energy down though. So they would only be doing 20 damage and I'm not really what I would consider stuck with this barrel right now. So we'll just see. I think my opponent is not only grasping for cards, they're grasping for straws at this point. That's definitely a phrase that people use. I think it means someone's desperate. So, got these dark patches. Oh, Houlihan, gonna set up a low kicks and do what we need to do, unless it's gonna escape with, nope, it's doing 190. So this Mew Max is about to be gone. and that's cool i was worried that the confusion aspect of the spinda was not going to be great because of the free retreat but doesn't seem to be the case we'll go ahead and dark patch onto that one and naturally attach onto this one we did lose the barrel so no more draw support but that's fine is it worth it to move damage counters right now right now i don't think so because we can do that later so well, unless we lose the radiant greninja man eh, maybe we want to do it now ah i think we do this ice cube there's no way this ice cube is like gonna end my whole existence right <laughs> five minutes later oh i can't can i whoops well i gotta move one yeah, I didn't <laughs> read the cards, Pat. Well, we're going to do more damage, and it's going to be cool. So, done. Whoops. My mistake. But now we get to do 420, so honestly, worth it. In the end, totally worth it. Then we'll take three prizes. 
light them up. Look at those little olives. Got a bunch of energies, got an escape rope. But we do not have the damage counters now. Oh, but we will if this low kicks gets knocked out actually. Because we got the vengeful punch, we will be able to enact our vengeance with the next low kicks. Um, although they did get heads with Cramomatic, so things might not be going our way now. We'll just have to see. Who wins? A legend? Or a bug that never skips leg day? You tell me. A bug that never skips legs day, leg day, a raver, and a guy with spoons. And Spoon Man from Soundgarden. You tell me. Iono into three. That is not great because we don't have any draw support. But hey, we got Old Cemetery to do nothing except for maybe damage an ice cube. That's always an option. Ye old cemetery. Creepy. Honestly, this is like Yu-Gi-Oh card energy right there. Here comes the ice cube. Here comes the pain. But on whom? Probably the Alakazam, quite honestly. Well, not yet. There's another mute. And honestly, I mean, we want to take out a VMAX, but hey, we'll take out a V regular... Regular old V and an ice cube. Doesn't matter how you slice it. At the end of the day, I think we got it. Come on, friendo. You know what to do. Slide that block over here. Either knock yourself out or knock out the, I'm guessing the Alakazam. Actually, not even. It's only doing 80, right? So, Nimble's really the only KO. I didn't realize that at first. It's only 40 for each, so... I think they've already lost two. No, they lost one, so... Very interesting. And if they want to put it down without Elisa's Sparkle, they'll do 20 to themselves because I've got Ye old Cemetery. 120! For each Fusion Strike energy attached to all... Oh, it was covering the uh, Genesect. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Well done. I commend you. Low kicks. The old cemetery. I'm not sure about this energy, actually. Hmm. I can't move damage counters. Gotta remember that. Can't do it. So, I think we gotta go, we gotta go leg day on this one. That's fine. Pal pad. Well, research and research. And we are in top deck mode, although we are gonna take a prize right now. So we'll do 290 onto this little old ping one. Come at me. And the thing is, if they take out the low kicks, they're taking damage counters. So I actually will still be able to knock out the VMAX, even though I messed up all the damage math and stuff. And we got boss for game. So, you know, it's just like, it's just like, I am the god of this new world. Like, light Yagami. Except for, I will not let my hubris get. Well, I don't want to say spoilers just in case somebody here has not finished Death Note. So I'm not going to say anything, even though that manga ended uh, 15 years ago. Oh, Jesus. That's big. But not really. We still have game. No, we don't. But we could. But we don't. But we could. But we don't. We do have boss. That's 190. That's got to be the last lost vacuum, right? Come on, man. I feel like I've seen four. Three? Okay. Um... I think we're gonna go and do some switching action.
Raihan seems like it's a thing. Hmm. I mean, I'm going to get a draw support out of it. I think we have this low kicks for game now. And we'll go ahead and get a research. Hmm. Or a vengeful punch and eh, research. Uh, There's a lot of options, actually. We could get a vengeful punch. We could get a research. We could get Clara. They have one more vacuum. I feel like we need the research for next turn and we can have boss for game as well. Or we get Iono in like, what do you want from me? Yeah, we'll take the research. And then we'll go ahead and bounce our way into the back. Let that low kicks with the vengeful punch go up front. And we still have an escape rope just in case they want to gust us for stall although they're the ones with five cards in their deck so that's not really a strategy now so i think we're uh we're in a good spot unless we see another ice cube that would be scary now they might just escape this one into the deck with by copying this muse attack but i don't think that they can do that loop forever Judge, I'll take it. I'll take it. Could be worse. Could be an Iono. All right. Well, you just improved my hand. All you did was add an energy and an escape rope, so I'm feeling good. And we can, um, if this VMAX stays on the field but is not in the active, we can just boss it up. And that might be the path to the peak that they're taking. How many DTEs are left? Ooh, no Mu VMAXs, or is it in hand? Only two DTEs down. I honestly don't know their counts, but they're looking at the whole deck basically, so I feel like they've got whatever they need. I just don't know if it'll be enough for them. There it is. But is this a defensive posture? Because it won't work, and it is. So we're gonna go ahead and say, get over here. Uh, 580 smackaroons. Big ol' number. Take those final prize cards. Those lovely, lovely uh, little olives. GG's.